Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you about tinnitus sound therapy and if it's an effective treatment option or just a bunch of hype. Coming up. There are literally over a million tinnitus sound therapy videos on YouTube, many of which have millions of views. Now, if you found this video, then you're probably one of the nearly 750 million people worldwide with tinnitus looking for relief through the use of sound therapy. But to understand why sound therapy is used as a tinnitus treatment, we first have to understand what tinnitus is. Tinnitus or tinnitus is a phantom buzzing, ringing, or humming sound that isn't actually present in your environment. Tinnitus is a symptom of many different health conditions and also a side effect of certain medications and lifestyle factors, which can make it tricky to manage. Research surrounding tinnitus treatment options is growing stronger and stronger every day, but it is still pretty limited regarding medications or supplements that are effective at reducing bothersome tinnitus. For that reason, one of the easiest and most popular ways that people try to manage their tinnitus is by using sound therapy. But does tinnitus sound therapy actually work? That is exactly what I plan to answer in this video today. But before we do that, if you could give this video a thumbs up, it really helps bring videos like these to a wider audience. And of course, if you've not yet already hit that subscribe button with notification bell, make sure you do that too so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. And finally, a huge shout out to Lemire for sponsoring today's video, but more on them coming up. Now, traditionally speaking, tinnitus management strategies were not based on research, which has led to lots of doctors telling patients that there's nothing that can be done about the ringing in their ears. Over time, the research surrounding tinnitus management improved enormously, showing significant reductions in tinnitus perception by treating hearing loss, receiving tinnitus education and counseling, and by using sound therapy. Sound therapy is the use of a variety of different types of sound to reduce the perception of your tinnitus. If you're only mildly bothered by your tinnitus, you may only notice it in quiet environments. This is because the regular sounds that you experience while moving through your everyday life are enough of a distraction to help prevent you from noticing your low-level tinnitus. But in a quiet setting, your tinnitus might become one of the only sounds that you're actually hearing. This can definitely make it more noticeable, and to some people, more bothersome. The basis of sound therapy is to add additional sound into quiet environments to help reduce the annoyance of your tinnitus and make it easier to read, relax, and rest. But we certainly can't add in just any sound since tinnitus definitely isn't the only sound that's rather annoying. Take, for example, a rattling fan, a leaky faucet, or even a plane flying overhead. For that reason, sound therapy is most effective when the sound you use is personally tailored to you and what you're trying to achieve. Now, as far as how well it works, numerous research studies have proven that tinnitus sound therapy is an effective treatment option for some individuals, but not all. For instance, in a 2020 small-scale study, researchers identified that 33% of their participants who used sound therapy received benefit. In a 2020 larger scale review of 43 different studies, researchers identified that various different forms of tinnitus sound therapy, including hearing aids, cochlear implants, tinnitus retraining therapy, and modulated sounds, revealed that most sound therapies showed a positive therapeutic effect. This even included one study where nearly 86% of participants noticed an improvement in tinnitus perception using sound therapy in combination with structured counseling sessions with a tinnitus specialist, though they couldn't say for certain which component, the sound therapy or the counseling sessions, were the most beneficial. So, based on the research, is sound therapy an effective treatment option for tinnitus? The answer is yes. However, only for some people and the level of effectiveness is very individualized. That being said, you may be wondering if there are other effective tinnitus treatments out there. Fortunately, you have other options, like the Lanier tinnitus treatment device from Neuromod, today's video sponsor. Lanier uses a form of bimodal neuromodulation that combines custom-tailored sound therapy 
with mild somatosensory stimulation via the tongue to provide even more benefit than either by itself. In fact, the majority of patients who were treated with sound therapy reported additional improvement in their tinnitus when treated with Lanier. In 70.5% of people with moderate or worse tinnitus who reported no improvement from sound therapy experienced clinically significant improvement in their tinnitus when treated with Lanier. The Lanier system uses a combination of sound stimulation delivered through headphones and electrical stimulation delivered through their proprietary tongue tip stimulator that feels a lot like carbonated soda water on your tongue. Both forms of stimulation are calibrated using the patient's hearing thresholds, as well as their response to sensations on the tongue to provide personalized stimulation. This non-invasive stimulation targets the auditory, attention, and emotional centers of the brain simultaneously. Over time, the coordinated activity between all three of these areas can positively change the way that your brain responds to tinnitus. In fact, 83% of the more than 500 individuals involved in one of the three large-scale clinical trials would recommend Lanier for the treatment of tinnitus. And in the most recent clinical trial, 80% of patients saw a significant reduction in tinnitus severity. In the more than 200 real-world patients who have completed their Lanier tinnitus treatment are backing these findings up. Wondering if this could be an option for you? Only a comprehensive tinnitus evaluation will reveal if you are a good candidate for the linear tinnitus treatment device. Treatment typically consists of two 30-minute sessions per day, completed over an average of about 12 weeks. And while benefit may be measurable by the 12-week window, many patients choose to continue using their linear system beyond this period because of the positive effects. During these treatment sessions, it is recommended you meditate, color, or perform another relaxing activity that can calm your body and your nervous system. While sound therapy is a research-backed way to manage tinnitus, there are still going to be those who do not receive benefit from sound therapy or their benefit is limited. If that's you, then bimodal neuromodulation using the linear tinnitus treatment device might be exactly what you need. If you would like to find out if you are a candidate for this brand new clinically proven tinnitus treatment device, visit www.lanier.com to find an approved Lanier provider in your area. Bimodal neuromodulation has proven effective for a lot of people. However, there are still some people who do not receive as much benefit as they expected. In fact, you may see reports from people online who have had both good and bad experiences using bimodal neuromodulation. But based on the research, we know that bimodal neuromodulation is effective for the majority of patients. So if you aren't seeing the relief that you're looking for using self-guided or professionally administered sound therapy, then just know you've got another option. And if you need more guidance with your sound therapy, or if you're wanting to discuss bimodal neuromodulation, be sure to reach out to an audiologist who specializes in tinnitus management for a comprehensive tinnitus evaluation and to discuss treatment options for which you might be a candidate.